Have you ever been physically hurt by someone and they made it seem like it was unintentional? It's a chilling question, isn't it? But it's an important one to ask, especially when dealing with the unseen danger of covert narcissists. Covert narcissists, the puppet masters behind the scenes, are known for their subtle and manipulative tactics. They excel at a game of deception, weaving a web where they are the innocent and you, unfortunately, are the caught prey. One of their most insidious tactics is causing physical harm while making it appear unintentional. It's like a magician's sleight of hand, but with a dark twist. This type of harm isn't as blatant as a punch or a kick. It's more subtle, more insidious. It's a bump here, a push there, a careless drop of something heavy. These incidents, seemingly accidental, start to pile up, forming a pattern that's anything but coincidental. The harm isn't just physical, it's psychological too. Covert narcissists excel at denial and gaslighting, making you question your own memory and perception. They'll deny causing harm, even in the face of clear evidence, making you feel like you're losing your mind. It's a frightening, isolating experience, and it's exactly what they want. The issue here is serious. It's not just about the physical pain, but also the emotional turmoil and the impact on your sense of self. It's about being trapped in a cycle of harm, confusion, and self-doubt. This isn't a situation to be taken lightly. It requires immediate action. But the first step before any action can be taken is recognizing that this is happening. Recognizing the pattern, the tactics, the harm. Recognizing the unseen danger that's right in front of you. It's a difficult realization. It's a tough pill to swallow. But it's necessary. Because once you see the red flags, once you understand what's happening, you can start to protect yourself. You can start to break free from the web, reclaim your reality, and take back control of your life. Recognizing the red flags is the first step towards protecting yourself. So let's start there. Let's start with recognition. Let's start with understanding. And let's start right now. So what are these red flags you need to be aware of? Well, let's dive right into it. First, frequent accidents. You might notice an unsettling pattern of bumps, pushes, trips, or objects conveniently dropping on you. These occurrences might be brushed off as mere accidents, but when they happen repeatedly, it's time to question their accidental nature. Next is denial and gaslighting. If you confront them about these so-called accidents, they might outright deny their involvement or downplay the severity of your injuries. They might even twist the narrative, making you question your own memory or perception. This is a classic gaslighting technique, and it's designed to keep you second-guessing yourself. Then we have triangulation and blame-shifting. In this tactic, they involve third parties to validate their version of events, making you feel isolated and confused. They might even turn the tables and blame you for the harm they've caused. This again is a ploy to deflect responsibility and maintain control. Emotional manipulation is another common tactic. They might use guilt, fear, obligation, or even love to keep you from speaking up or seeking help. They might say things like, you know I didn't mean to hurt you, or you're overreacting, to manipulate your feelings and keep you in check. Finally, escalating behavior. If they start crossing boundaries, becoming more aggressive, or resorting to threats, these are serious signs of escalating harm. This is not just a red flag, but a blazing signal to take immediate action. When these signs start to appear, it's time to take action. Remember, it's not your fault, and you don't have to endure this alone. There are resources and support systems available to help you navigate through this challenging time. You are not alone in this fight, and you are stronger than you think. But how do you protect yourself when you're dealing with a covert narcissist? This is a question that, unfortunately, many find themselves asking. The first step is to always prioritize your safety. If at any point you feel physically unsafe, it's crucial to remove yourself from the situation immediately and seek help. This can be a difficult step, particularly if you've been manipulated into believing that you're overreacting or imagining things, but trust your instincts. Your safety and well-being must always come first. Next, it's important to document the incidents. This means keeping a detailed record of the physical harm that's been inflicted upon you. Include dates, specific details of what happened, and any witnesses if there are any. This documentation can serve as crucial evidence if you need to involve law enforcement or medical professionals. Another essential part of protecting yourself is seeking support. Reach out to trusted friends, family members, or a therapist and confide in them about what you're going through. You deserve to be heard and supported without judgment. This can also help you gain perspective and validation, particularly if you're dealing with gaslighting or other forms of manipulation. Setting clear boundaries is also key. 
Communicate your needs and expectations clearly to the narcissist. Let them know in no uncertain terms that physical violence is unacceptable and will not be tolerated. This can be challenging, especially if they've been successful in crossing or ignoring your boundaries in the past, but it's a necessary step for your own protection. Lastly, consider seeking professional help. Therapists who specialize in dealing with narcissistic abuse can help you understand the situation better, develop coping mechanisms, and explore safe options for moving forward. This can be particularly beneficial if you're feeling lost, confused, or overwhelmed by the situation. Remember, you have the right to safety and well-being, and seeking help is a sign of strength. You are not responsible for the narcissist's behavior or the harm they've caused, and you deserve to live a life free from fear and harm. It's crucial to understand the seriousness of this issue. Covert female narcissists with their manipulative tactics can cause physical harm while making it seem unintentional. The red flags to watch out for include frequent accidents, denial and gaslighting, triangulation, emotional manipulation, and escalating behavior. If you find yourself entangled in such a situation, remember to prioritize your safety, document incidents, seek support from trusted individuals, set clear boundaries, and consider professional help. Above all, it's essential to remember that physical abuse is never acceptable. The actions of a covert narcissist are not your fault, nor are you responsible for the consequences of their behavior. You possess an inherent right to safety and well-being. Seeking help isn't a sign of weakness, but a testament to your strength and self-respect. Physical abuse is never acceptable, and you are not responsible for their behavior or its consequences. You have the right to safety and well-being, and seeking help is a sign of strength and self-respect. Remember, you're not alone in this.